Dear students, in our previous video, we have already discussed that C supports various types of decision control structures. And we have discussed about the if statement. Now the next is if else statement. The syntax for the if else statement is if then condition check. If will be followed within condition. If that condition is true, then the block which is immediately after this if statement will be executed. If this condition will return as false, then the control will pass to the else part. It will skip this, uh, these statements and it will move to the else part and the statements which are in else part will be executed. So that means it depends upon the condition, whether the condition within an if is true or false. If it is true, it is going to execute the block which is immediately after the if. If, if it is false, then it is going to execute the else part. So this is how the if else statement works. Now let's take a problem and we will try to make a program. Say so suppose for example we have to calculate the gross salary of an employee. We have been given with the HRA and DA of an employee based on his or her basic salary. One of our condition is if the basic salary of an employee is less than 15,000 then HRA will be equal to 500 and DA will be equal to 10% of the basic salary. Next condition we have if it is above or we can say greater than 15,000 or equal to 15,000 then HRA we have to take as 5,000 and DA we have to take as 20% of the basic salary. As we know the gross salary is equal to uh, basic salary plus the HRA and plus the DA. You can clearly see from this problem that we have to make use of the condition we have to make, we have to decide about the HRA and DA of an employee based on the condition that whether the basic salary of an employee is less than 15,000 or it is equal to or greater than 15,000. So therefore we will make use of the if else control structure because we have been given with two conditions. First condition is that if the employee's salary is less than 15,000, then our DA and HA will have uh, 510 as values respectively. If it is greater than or it is equal to, then we have to apply the second condition. That means we can clearly make use of if else decision control structure and the condition will be taken as the basic salary because the deciding thing here will be the basic salary of an employee. So let's try to make this program. We will take a new file here. Now we will make a program. So suppose first you we know that we have to include the header files. And uh, these are the two header files which we use and then of course the program will start from the main and then we have to take a variable wherein we will declare certain variables which will be of course of floating point because salary will be calculated as float so for storing the basic uh, basic salary then we have the DA then we have the gross salary and HRA let's take the variables as say suppose for example variable BS will store the basic salary of an employee then variable DA will store the DA of an employee GS will store uh, the gross salary of an employee and HRA we will declare as to store for the HRA of an employee right so the thing so the first thing is like we have to take we have to ask the user to enter his or her what the basic salary so we will print a message enter basic salary because this is the deciding variable wherein we can decide 
um, about the percentage which are given in the problem so basic salary we are going to store it in uh, bs variable fine now now we have to make use of the decision control structure if and else now what we have to according to our problem we have to check if our basic salary is less than 15000 this is what we decided if it is less than 15000 then what then we have to do it like this we have to take hra as 500 right and da we have to take as 10 percent of the basic salary that means basic salary multiplied by 10 percent means 10 divided by 100 this is what we have to do then here we are done with this part now the second thing is like if it is not less than 15,000 that means obviously it will be greater than or equal to 15,000 in that case it will move to the else part wherein we have to set the HRA of an employee as uh, 5,000 and the DA of an employee as basic multiplied by 20% of the basic salary that is BS multiplied by 20 divided by 100 fine so finally after this what we have to do is we have to calculate the gross salary gross salary we have decided that we will calculate that in variable GS so that is equal to basic plus HRA plus DA and finally we have to print the gross salary of an employee so we will do it like gross salary is equal to percent f gross salary fine so finally we will stop here okay now it means that once the basic salary will be taken from the employee it will check first if this bs will be equal to 15000 less than 15000 or greater than 15000 if it is less than 15000 then obviously it is going to calculate it is going to execute this block the if block if if it is less than 15000 if it is not less than 15,000, obviously it will skip these statements and it will move to the else part and it will keep HRA as 5,000 and DA will be calculated as 20% of the basic salary. Finally, this GS will be executed and uh, this GS statement wherein GS will be equal to PS plus HRA plus DA. So it will be executed in any case because it is not the part of if or else it is just a sequential flow of a program. This statement GS is equal to BS plus HRA plus DA. Then finally the gross salary will be in uh, GS variable. So we are printing the GS variable. So then we will save it. Let's say suppose for example we will make it as gross salary dot c we will name it like this then we will obviously compile the code and we will run it so it is asking us to enter the basic salary we will keep it as ten thousand fine so you can obviously see like gross salary it has calculated according to the uh, hra and da which is of course this 10,000 is less than 15,000 so therefore it is going to keep its HRA as uh, 500 and DA as 10% of the basic salary so it's going to execute in the first it's going to execute this first if block and this else will be skipped finally it will give the values of bs hra da according to the first block and finally it is going to print the message so this is how we make use of the decision control structure wherein we have to keep the else part as well this is how we can make use of if and else decision control structures
so thank you for watching this video um, in our next video we will talk about the if else ladder and uh, the other things which uh, needs to be covered so thank you so much for watching